Hi, I'm Dr. Ron Miller of Pursuit Physical Therapy, and today we're going over what should you do if you've been diagnosed with scoliosis. Now, there's many different types of scoliosis and different curves, but if you're having lower back pain or middle back pain and you've been diagnosed with scoliosis, there are some options that you have that you don't need surgery. You know, yes, you probably have some sort of spine pain with that, but if you just rely on injections, it's still gonna provide temporary relief. If you do a chiropractic manip, you know, it may provide temporary relief. There's certain strategies or ways of treating scoliosis that will kind of follow the curve, okay? And then you can deload or you can stretch or strengthen depending which side the curve is on. So the first step is to identify your curve. And we can do that during a, during a, a evaluation or I'm sure your physician has taken imaging that will highlight the curve. So if you identify the curve, that's the first step. And then step two is where exactly is your pain and on what side of the curve is it on? You know, many people have scoliosis and don't have pain at all. Look at that U.S. Olympic swimmer that has scoliosis and she can train symptom-free now because she's identified her curve and she's treated and done the appropriate treatment for her. But the second step is where is your pain at? Is it on a certain side of the curve that's on this side or is it on this side? Or if your curve is like this, you know, where is your pain at? That's the second step because then if it's on the one side, you're gonna stretch it. If it's on the other side, you'll strengthen it. And then the third step is to look at the whole body approach and look at other risk factors or impairments in other areas that are adding in to your painful side. For example, what's going on at the hips and pelvis that relates to having lower back pain from scoliosis. If you have tight hip flexors on a painful side, on the same side of where you're having some lower back pain, and it falls into a certain pattern, yes, you can treat your hips to take pressure off of your low back, and you still have scoliosis, and you'll be able to get back to being symptom-free. If not, um, you have a great decrease in the amount of pain you have. So if you've been diagnosed with scoliosis, you try a couple treatments, nothing's lasting, or giving you a long-term outcome, give us a call. We'll get you in for a thorough evaluation and we'll identify those three steps and see if our treatment approach is appropriate for you and see if you'll respond to us or not. So if you're interested in booking an eval, you can give us a call at 407-494-8835. If you want some more information about our team, our, our treatment approach and what we can do for scoliosis, um, you can visit our website at PursuitTherapy.com. Thank, thank you very much for your time and uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.